Hey, welcome back to the channel, CGR. So I'm back on the Caprice. And so this next mod I'm doing is for the taillights. Um, I really like how the 96, well, basically 96, 95, 94, I believe, the Impala SS, um, the taillights, as you can see on the Caprices, they're chrome. But with time, they uh, easily fade. Sorry, look how that looks. Just faded chrome. So, you know, uh, I looked on eBay, Amazon, everywhere. And um, those tail lights, even used and sometimes not even in good conditions, man, they go for. I saw a ridiculous set for like 600 bucks. Some for 300, 200, you know, nothing under a hundred dollars. Um, even just for one, I think it was like a hundred something. So, as you can see, what I ended up doing, let me turn on my light, is I ended up taking off the tail light and um, I ended up sanding this down. No, obviously I taped it all off cleaned it off first because it's gonna be really dirty like your hotel light the back it's gonna be really really dirty so like on the next videos you're gonna be seeing is uh, um, I'm not gonna be really doing any talking it's just you're gonna see um, when I have it off what I do and um, here's the end result you know obviously these aren't tail lights they're like I took them to a professional to get them done I did these at home by myself with a spray can so you know it's to me that looks way better than this so would you rather have that or that obviously you can see in the corner edges it looks like there's something there that's just the dust from a um um that's just dust from actually um, how can i say it from setting it down where it just got stuck really deep on the cracks. But as you can see, that's good enough for me. I just got to clean it up. So that looks way better. And it almost looks like the SS tail light. And you don't have this. So my main goal was to get rid of this. Even just to buy a set of this. You could, they don't even sell this set like they sell you the lens. It's like a lens cover. Now, the problem is I tried to remove that lens cover, and I almost cracked it. Um, so I didn't even want to mess with that. And just the lens cover alone, they were about like um, $80, 80 to $90. So I know for sure if I did get the lens cover and then this would have been painted, um, it still would have been the same thing here. Or they got some that are like clear and then they got some that are like black. They're like uh, blacked out. Um, but I really like this red on here. So um, I'm sure I can replace that with the lens cover. But um, for sure it would crack and then I would have to like put it on and put like a sealant around it. So just no moisture will get in it. I didn't want to do all that. So I'm... I'm okay with this. It came out good to me. It looks way better than is what you're seeing over here on the video. And of course, I will be making another video of me replacing every single okay, phone. My bad. I had a phone call come in. Um, so I do have a video coming out for those uh, LED bulbs that I'm replacing. And if you have been a subscriber to this channel, you saw that I did change the front bulbs to LED. Well, I finally figured out what you need to change um, because those bulbs have resistors. And even with those resistors, the car does not recognize them. And um, I finally got the uh, two pieces that I need from eBay. And I will be swapping that over. And once you change that, you will have no problems at all with any LED bulbs you install on these older GM vehicles. So once I get that fixed, that should be good. And so I am replacing all these bulbs in here. Um, um, I'm hesitant whether to put the, the tail lights back in um, because I do. I am gonna work 
on the sequential turn signals. So I finally figured out how to do that. So basically it'll be like one, two, three, or actually if I'm turning this way, sorry, if I'm going left, it'll be one, two, three, one, two, three repeatedly. And so I do want to work on that and I kind of don't want to put that back on. If I'm going to do that project, I'd rather just put it back on once everything is done and I have nothing else to do to it. So that way I don't, I don't have to remove those tail lights at all anymore. So I might end up doing that. Um, other than that, um, I'm going to end up taking these this off. And I'll show a quick video next of um, the little things that you need to do just to remove this. And um, so let's get started. Sorry you couldn't see the process fully, but it's honestly, the more time you put in it, the better they're going to come out. It's very easy. First time I've ever did this. Um, you got to understand, we're not, I'm not coming from a paint shop or a bodywork guy. Uh, you know, this is just an average person doing it. So you can't expect um, tremendous results, um, but it w it does look way better as you can see from that corner already. It just looks a thousand times better. Just uh, look at that. So So that looks way, way better. Like I said, it's, and the problem is you see with the tape, sometimes that's a lot of dirt right there, but sometimes that's still a little bit of the chrome, but if not, the whole bottom will be painted. Like I said, you know, it's not gonna be a thousand percent. Um, this car eventually will get painted black. So um, I'll just get like a quote on 
doing the uh, lights as well. Then they could do it. But for right now, I mean, you saw the picture of how it looked. It looks way better, honestly. Way, way, way better. So, oh, you know what? I did just replace the LEDs on it. Make sure you check out that video, top corner. Um, let's see how they look. So nice and bright. This is like in bright daylight. So, and that's just the uh, running lights. So, turn signals. Everything is good. So, awesome. So, hopefully, you know, like I said, uh, this this is more like an Impala SS look. Kind of like the 96, 94, 95. Um, you can try to find these um, already painted. It's just not worth the money. And the price that people are asking for them is just ridiculous. Oh. 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 Oh.